Hey guys, welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 9. In the way of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So, now we're down here in a hole. Mm hmm. I, it's not often you find me in a hole. But when you do, uh, then I'm in a, in a hole. <laughs> I, I don't know where I was going with that. But... Uh, I did a stream a couple weekends ago. I know there was no there was no video last weekend, but that's fine. You know things happen. Um, but I like I'm saying, I did a stream a couple weekends ago where I was alluding to a mini game type thing I would like to create. Um, it's kind of a, a mix between like ABBA, if you're familiar with ABBA caving. Uh, it's it's a kind of a mix between that and like I Spy, if you've ever played that kind of game, like you know, in the car on a car ride kind of deal. Oh well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> Let's just try to get rid of this son of a biscuit. Um, and so basically the idea is, um, you have to find ore. Okay. And you have to keep track of the ore you found because each ore is worth points, right? Just like Ava. But the difference, okay? The difference is uh, you're not actually mining the ores, where with Ava you mine the ores and at the end you tally it up and blah, blah, blah. Uh, where this one, uh, it's purely visual. You see it. Because we want, you know, people to be able to replay and, you know, all that kind of stuff, get a better score, do all that kind of jazz. So the idea is, right, right up through this here place, here, here, uh, there will be like a path, like a walkway going hither and yon, right? And so you're you're able to go up and down that path as much as you like within the given time frame. I'm thinking like three three to five minutes, somewhere in there, spotting as many ores as you can. Uh, some ores will not count. Uh, obviously, coal will not count, and copper will not count. I was planning on making it so that copper counts, but then I was kind of looking around, and there's so much copper everywhere <laughs> that it doesn't really kind of make sense to have it count because there's so much of it so the i was thinking i'd just come in here you know clear out the ores and be done well you know and then add my own and then be done but there's like i said there's so much copper and coal that it it's just not a thing that i'm gonna do uh so let's get rid of that i do i am gonna clean it up i'm gonna try and make it a little dark in some spots. Some spots are going to be lit. Some spots are going to be dark. All right. So this is basically where the path is going to be. And so, you, like I said, it's it's mostly just like a, a one wide path. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit wider because we're going to have like fences or walls or something right here. I did spend a bunch of time uh, just now. I mean, not a bunch. Like a few minutes. <laughs> uh, lighting up most of this area just to make sure that or try and make sure that nothing drops in on anybody that's down here. Because uh, that would suck. We're out, and we're also going to need like a sign or something up there. Pointing down or something. Um, I'm thinking the rule book and whatnot will be here. Uh, I'm probably going to put some item frames with a, you know, a list of the ores that actually count. And their point value. Um, I'm thinking through most of this, we will have... Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to do green. I feel, I'm feeling green. So if we go right about here. Oh, you know what? We could do path. Like a path. All the, ooh, I like it. It'll work. And so let's go like that. And then if we go... Although, path isn't green. <laughs> I wish you could get like a green path. That'd be nice. But I think I'm going to go with just path. For a couple reasons, um, it's non-spawnable, which is awesome, um, and I like it. It looks good. So if we come back this way, oh, see now I kind of want to, kind of want to come this way more, just so it's a bit more centered on this area instead of like 
this. Right? Right. So we'll go like that. And then, like I say, we'll have some kind of billboard or just something here. Just for, you know, people to... The lectern with the rules and the points and all of that. Um, this is the total, the, like the, the total ores I have. That doesn't mean all of these are going to be in there. And like I said, I was planning on, uh, coal being worth something and deep slate, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to concentrate on, uh, these other ores. So if we put that up, I don't know, should we do iron? I feel like if, we, hmm. I'm going to have to go through and scour this place and try to find all the iron. <laughs> and if there's just a bunch of it, we're not going to do iron either. So my initial thought with this thing was to build, at my, you know, to dig out my own cave and all of it. That way I could, you know, make sure that there were no ores whatsoever. But then I remembered this cave was here. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but I did talk to Iskal. Uh, and just to make sure he has like no no plans whatsoever for this cave. And he said, nah, go for it. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> I'll, also, I don't know if I mentioned it. I don't think I did. I'm so just kind of, you know, yeah. Um, but I'm not going to be doing this alone. Uh, being that it is loosely based on ABBA, I invited Beef along. Uh, and so hopefully we'll be getting together. Uh, oh, that's not the right button uh soon and kind of work on this together i just kind of wanted to give you guys like a, a quick look at what the plan is and so obviously the path i'm wondering should i do glass so the problem with glass at least for me it's not really a problem but as you can see i got connected textures it's really clear i could easily see things right Others, I'm not so sure if they, you know, if it's the same for them. Um, hmm. No, that's not what I wanted. Hmm. See, this is, this is, this is the thing. <laughs> do, do I glass or do I not glass? That is the question. I think we're going to do that, though. I kind of want a roof. Ah, no. So if we did a roof, if we just did it like all glass, like that, then you would be completely safe, right? And then we can make this place pitch black. So I was thinking we'd have to leave this area lit up just so that while you're, you know, kind of, staring off into the nef into the nothing looking for ore you'd be safe but if we glass it in and then build an entrance going up or an entrance exit then we should be fine right all right so this is kind of what i was thinking with just kind of sections around um so this one it's obviously starting off pretty simple uh, it's just like kind of just an area. <laughs> uh, but what I was thinking, just to kind of throw people off a little bit, is if we put some stuff around just to kind of throw off, just so people aren't like constantly just looking for texture changes, um, which I feel like would be like the number one way people are going to try to, you know, other than color. But if we just mix in some some texture... Um, I even have like walls and stairs. So if we did like a stair and then that, and then a wall, like it just, it changes, it, it, like I said, the texture. <laughs> uh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's going to confuse. Oh, that's going to be nice. Um, we even have some, or we can even try some mossy cobblestone. I do have some, and it doesn't have to be cobblestone. It can be anything really. Uh, just anything that changes the texture so that people can't just hone in on textures and then, you know, call it a day. Uh, so if we did maybe a single one there. And then obviously we'd, we'd toss in some ore. And so if we do boop, 
and then we grab a piece of this, right? And then we just toss it right there, right? And so that's kind of the idea. I don't know how it would look if we did, uh, I don't know. Like, I don't want it to be to where you can't see it at all, right? Because that's just not, that's defeats the whole purpose. Oh, wow, you can't see that at all. <laughs> Um, so my initial thought, right, uh, when I was talking to Beef, he was like, well, what about Zoom? And I was like, you know, I don't think we're going to allow Zoom, but I'm kind of starting to rethink that, thinking that maybe, just maybe, we allow Zoom, right? Because everybody, or everybody that I know of has some sort of Zoom functionality, but I think, you know, without Zoom... You're not going to see that, right? Actually, you know what? Let me... So I was I was also thinking, like, putting stuff way back here. And so if we went ahead and stuck an emerald right there, like, there's no way you're going to see that without Zoom from way back here. Can you even see it with Zoom? Oh, yeah, with Zoom. Oh, wow, that's actually really easy to see with Zoom. Hmm. Okay. So this is it's gonna take some planning, some thinking on things. Um, but what happens if we take out the? I mean, there's a ton of light from that. Is that where? Hmm. All right. I just I don't want to forget that's there. <laughs> uh, so what I'm thinking about is having a maximum number of points you could possibly earn. If you saw every single ore in here. That is the maximum amount of points you can get. Um, I'm thinking it's going to cost everybody a diamond block to enter. But <clears throat> at the end of the time, whether it's a week or a month or whatever, the time that the game runs, um, at the end, whoever got the most points gets obviously the entire thing. And you can play as much as you want. You want to play 20 times? Play 20 times. So, oh, you know what we could do? So if it's a diamond block for three tries, right? Diamond block, three tries. You want to try more after that? Another diamond block, right? Three Every three tries, diamond block. And then at the end, like I said, whoever gets the most points gets the whole shebang. That's, yeah, so that's, that's, ooh, what is... I wonder what that is. Huh. And then, obviously, we can add some water, um, more lava, just random things to kind of throw people off. I was thinking if we had some of these going around, people might think it's redstone or something. You know? So they'll see the red and be like, oh, redstone. No, it's not redstone. <laughs> so they're going to have to be very careful about what, you know, they try to classify as seeing an ore. So... I, I don't know if this is going to be too hard. I don't know if this is going to be too easy. So what I think I'll probably do is just test it with beef, right? When me and beef get together, I'll be like, hey, I went out. I put some ores out there. Can you see them? What up, right? I think that's the best way to do it, just to kind of test it and see if things work. Ideally, I would love to cover this whole place in something other than stone, just the floor, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that. I mean, we could. <laughs> if I really wanted to, I, obviously, I could. But I won't. Are you ever ready? Or, you know, like. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, bring it. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. How do you play this game again? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, so whether I win or lose, I get 27. TCG tokens. That's always the way it's been. So oh right, yeah, totally, I, I remember you know. that clause. Yeah, 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 totally, totally remember that clause. <laughs> uh, start game with random player. TCG. <laughs> Easy as one, two, three, one, two, three. TCG, baby, you and me. So good. It's so good. Seven angel. Oh no, I don't have a valid starting hand. I do. Okay, so I just had to put. You need Play to look through. at my cards. You need to look at my cards. <laughs> yeah, I, I trust you. Go for it. Okay, all right. 
You're uh, Canadian, man. I know. We're so... You know what? We're ruder than people think. So wait, now I just shuffle player one, right? Yeah. Start game player one. Eh, Reroll hand. Put hand in deck first. Yes. Got it. All right, come on. Let's get something good here. Ah, I have a valid hand now. Finally. Maybe a little too valid. It's been 83 years. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, you start, so I have to put my players up first. Ooh. This is not the greatest start, I have to admit. Mm. Not the greatest. I feel uh, like I'll uh, be the judge of that. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to start with this person. Uh-huh. Because uh, I like healing myself. But I'm okay. also... Uh, no, I'm just... I'm going to leave it at that. And then, yeah, your your turn. I will start with this person. Oh, man. Okay. Because why not? Why not? And that's... That's that. Okay. Right? Yes. Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead... Oh, snapped. And put... into your opponent's hermit. I'm going to put a couple of these on the board. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'll do that. Ethos, too. I have all 250s right now. That That's not the best <laughs> health to have. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to attach this to stress. And we're going to high noon ya <clears throat> for false. 60. You know, either way. False. Oh, my God. It's been that long. I don't know who's who anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I want to I want to high noon your mumbo over here. Right. <laughs> so 220. Okay. And and my turn. Nice. All righty. So we're going to we're going to slap a cub up there. Oh, don't slap a cub. Oh no, it's it's too late. It's already been slapped. He's been slapped. We're going to power the evil X. And then the we're going to do some derpage coin, but we're also going to do one of those. Oof, ouch. All right, so Derp Coin, I don't know if you're familiar with how this game works. <laughs> you should read it. You should so read it Derp Coin, flip a coin. If heads choose one of the opposing her uh, active hermits attacks to disable on their next mm -hmm. turn. Right. Right. So you've got, and then you could, and then, hmm. Okay, so that's going to be... 120, right? Because that sword's 40? Yes, it is 40, right? Just making sure I didn't change anything okay. there. So 120 puts me at 130. That's not a good sign for roll. old Stressy. Dang it. You did, oh, you got tails? No disable. Okay, okay, no disable. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I will... I'm going to go ahead and use this efficiency book to use supremacy. Okay. So I'm going to do 70 damage to Mumbo. <laughs> and then I'm going to try and heal up. Ah, uh, not correct. Right. Okay. That is not the part of the plan. Not ideal. Not ideal. Okay. Start getting some, some cub going. Mm hmm. Now, do we or don't we? I don't feel like we do. That seems like a waste. Okay. I agree. So I Total guess waste. We're going to derp. I mean, I'll roll. But, mm. Uh huh. Oh, you got it. So you're disabling supremacy, I'm assuming? Uh, well, I I'm trying to decide. Do you have another oh. item in there or not? Gotcha. Hmm. Oh, wait. Uh, while you think about that, I, I need to subtract 80 here. Right. That's le that leaves me only with 50, by the way, XP. Which, I don't know if you... Which probably means you're going to switch. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Um. Yeah, I'll, uh, this is supremacy. Sure. Okay, so you disabled supremacy. Okay, my turn now. This is where it gets interesting. Well, I can't really use Supremacy. I'll get that Etho going here. But I don't really want to bring in Etho yet because you're going to probably disable Slab with Evil <laughs> X. And I don't want to deal with that because Slab is lovely. So I am going to bring in Ren as a sponge 
and remove false Rendido. and put false AFK. And here we go. I end my turn. Okay. Oh right, boy. We got cub powered. Not looking and good for the old beefster. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll derp coin. Why not? Okay. Uh, you pick one, I guess. <laughs> you pick. I can't. I can't pick. Uh, coming at you. I okay. Guess. <laughs> so that was uh, eighty. So it's one seventy. Oh gosh, my math is just so terrible when it comes to this kind of stuff. Okay, my turn. I will use the golden apple here. You can only use it on AFK mm -hmm. as per the new rules. Oh, I, I'm so, well aware. <laughs> <laughs> so false is getting the 150 here. Bring false up a little bit. And then I can't use these because I've already used single use. Um, that's it. Ending my turn. <laughs> Things are not looking good for me, buddy. I will get some AFK Herpner. Okay. And then uh, we'll start powering up the AFK Herb. Oh my gosh, you got so many item cards. And then. I wonder what uh, that feels like. Derp coin. Derp <laughs> coin. Yeah. Okay. You've already disabled uh, one. Yeah. Um, okay. So Let's minus see here. Either. Yeah. Wait, does it disable for the, the next turn or permanently? No, just the, the next, next turn. turn. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, wait a minute, what if I bring false back? Now she's still gonna have it to so rends at ninety. Oh yeah. right, right. Yeah. I, I didn't wanna I didn't wanna <laughs> I refused to believe. <laughs> okay, uh this is getting tricky. This Evil is getting doing work. tricky indeed. So I have okay, let me see here. Hmm. And you disabled coming at you, correct? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Not good. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and attach that item card to oh, Etho. Oh, snap. And do I need to buy more time or do I want to get knocked out soon to get a free um, thing? I think that's it. Oh, boy. Okay. That's good. I like that card. Okay. We'll put some more power on that guy up there. And then... Uh, derp coin. Yep. No. Okay. A Tails. That works. So I'm down to 10. Mm-hmm. What are you doing to me, man? I just got back from vacation. <laughs> that <laughs> means you should be nice and me. rested. And <laughs> no, no, no. You need to go ready for, for TCG action. Oh, man. Okay, so what do we got here? Vex Magic does 70. Max Attack does 100, which could be a problem. Let me think here. So I could do that, but I'm going to save that, people who are watching. Uh, I'm going to save this one as well. I could technically do that, but it's not really going to help the situation very <laughs> much. So what I'm going to do, surprise, surprise, end my turn. <laughs> Interesting oh, strats. Yep, yep. I'm sacrificing Ren okay. here for this, I mean, this yeah. next play. Bye, Ren, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Ren, indeed. Go ahead and give yourself a point, and yeah. That's huh. interesting, I guess. And now you got to end your turn. Okay, all right. This is where that, that play might come in handy here. Oh. So, I bring in Etho. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the lead... To okay. remove one of these guys and put it down here on um, Cub. So this one to here. Yes. Okay. Now uh -huh. I'm going to use Slab. And let me just reiterate for the folks. Flip a coin three times. Add an additional 20 HP damage for every heads. Okay. So it does 70 plus. Oh, come on. It just. Oh, my, you got to be kidding. <laughs> Okay, okay, it does 90. 90. Nice. So you're down to 60. Okay. Okay, yeah. That didn't quite work as I planned, but it still did a decent amount of damage. Oh, boy. Okay, now I'm going to end my turn. 
<clears throat> oh, that's <clears throat> good. So this is where strats come in. Uh-oh. What are you doing, XP? So I think we'll grab a little bit of all of that. Also, well, no. Okay. I think we're gonna we're gonna go a little sacrificial here. Oh, okay. Oh, the turtle helmet. Okay. Wait. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it. And TNT. So one forty. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness. Oh man. Oh, Joe. No thanks. Joe. Thanks for the offer. See, Joe's being much nicer than you are. You're over here <laughs> destroying me. And he, okay, so what was it? It was one forty. Uh, Puts me down to one. Oh, and I gotta take twenty. And you gotta take twenty, correct. Ooh. Well, I definitely am going to finish X off now, but I don't know if I should. So I have this. I have this. Okay, I'm gonna put the scar on here because I'm gonna need a backup plan in case things right. go south really quickly here. Um I'm also going to slap this double builder on Scar. So Death Loop is active immediately. And then, then I'm going to use this splash potion of healing two, which heals 30 HP to all active and AFK hermits. Okay. So I'm going to bring Etho up to 140. Trying to really keep him in the game here. And then stress goes up to 180. False. I said stress again. What is wrong with me? <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, and now, yeah, slab to okay. defeat Evil X. So I gotta get myself a player one issue prize card and victory point. Okay. At least this is something. And... Okay, I just got that, and end my turn. Oh, interesting. Hmm. I mean, it's... Yeah, why not? Okay, so I can't damage Hypno this turn. Right. All right, got it. Got it. Uh, so yeah, we'll just do what up for sixty on Etho puts me down to eighty. Oops. So what up does sixty? So I could essentially survive another. You you gotta knock the helmet off now, or after my turn, I guess yeah. doesn't really matter. Um. Okay, I'm going to put this one back on stress so that if she comes in, uh, false what is i don't understand <laughs> at this point it's almost like i'm doing it on purpose uh i can't attack hypno but i can attack cub right. with the bow so let's get 40. Um, 40 off of cub there and then of course i have to end my turn and i'm gonna leave Etho in there <laughs> <laughs> that could be dangerous Maybe I should have pulled Etho out. Oh, man, that might have been a mistake. We'll see. So, I think we're going to wait on that one. Yeah. Uh, so, what up for 60? Oh, survived the turn. Okay, I'm at 20 now, but now I actually can do some damage to Hypno if I hit my heads. But before I do that, <laughs> I'm going to flint and steal my hand here. Get out. Thank you very much. And now I need three cards. One. Two. Three. Woo! Okay. 
Now, I can't use these, unfortunately. Right. <laughs> that would have come in very handy. Um, but I can use slab, so it's 70 plus. Oh, come on. Come on, Red. Oh, come on, Red. <laughs> okay, are there any greens? <laughs> All right, so, so just 70. 70. Oh, that's terrible. Ethel's really dropping the ball. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Bye, yeah, Ethel. Knock, knock me out. I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ethel deserved it. <laughs> now I got to be real careful. You never count on that guy when it actually, you know. I know. You actually need to. All right. So now who do I bring in? Deathloop does 70 and false does 70. But false is a little low on health here. Might be able to recover some stuff uh okay i'm gonna go ahead and attach i'm gonna put false in attach the totem to false okay gets me an extra turn and i'm gonna go ahead and use supremacy for 70 let's see if i heal yes oh yes 220 that's big that's big news Oop. and end my turn Okay, that's okay. not bad. Still waiting for my good cards. <laughs> Do I or don't I? You don't. I don't know. I'm kind of kind of feeling that I do. Oh, no. Oh. Um, no, not that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's not that big a deal. <laughs> oh, God. Um, yeah. Yeah, why not? Why not? It's a waste, but we'll Ooh. do it. And then um, I'm going to use Max this too. Attack. It's called what Sweeping is that? Edge. Oh, no. So you can go ahead and get rid of that, that their totem. Oh, that's not good. Not good. And then, uh, yeah, Hundo to false. Yikes. So 120. Oh, no. Okay, so here's some more strats now. You, I can't take this chance, can I? I don't think I could take this chance. Um. Well. So if you have like a TNT, you could do 160. Or even just a sword. Would, well, that's assuming, you know, we're, we're going on the assumption you don't get mm -hmm. a... Right, the uh, the right. heads. But this is that's what I was. Did I tell you I here. have three or two or three diamond swords in my deck? Three, two or three something. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and probably pull false out. <laughs> uh, hmm. Although, if I use this. Ooh, this could be good. It could be bad. I'm going to take this chance. Boom. Nice. Do you know do you remember do you know what this does? I don't know it, how it, from it's powerful. It it prevents 20 HP damage, but also prevents um damage from all effect cards. Oh, so it's the same as Diamond Armor. X and and also you can't you can't um make me go AFK. So it like locks ah. them in there. Yeah. Ah, okay. uh, that's the only advantage it has over the diamond armor. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to use Supremacy for 70, which okay. puts you down to 40, and I'm hoping to do a little healing here. Yes, thank you. 160, that's a big. And I'm going to go ahead and end my mm. turn. Okay. Now what? Do you sacrifice Hypno? Bring in Cub? Mm. Or do you pull some ridiculous card out of your out of your hand and destroy me? <laughs> so we're gonna use a chest. Okay. Oh no, you're gonna pull that diamond sword back out. 
Although it doesn't have any effect on force right now, so I'm good with that. And then... I feel like one bow and Hypno's toast. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, wait, no, wait. It, that prevents damage from effect cards, yes? Correct, yes. So not other effects from effect cards. I guess not, yeah. So if I was to do 80 total, right, and then mm -hmm. put a bad omen. You're, you're correct. You are correct. So that's if I did that. <laughs> I'm if not saying that, I, okay. I'm doing that. Also prevents damage to this hermit from all effect cards. Yeah, so yeah. that's not damage. Right. Interesting. Interesting well, strats. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing it yet. I'm not okay. I, I'm not final. Because I know okay. scars come. What does Death Loop do? It, he stays after he gets knocked out. If he uses Death Loop the Death Loop the previous turn uh, before he gets knocked right, out, right. he comes back. Okay, so it's not it's not a roll. Okay, it's, yeah. No. So we'll use uh, Bad Omen. Bad That's Omen, Aiden great. Did. So now I can't even heal. <laughs> 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 All right, so that puts me at to, or down to eighty total, which will get me knocked out the following turn. Oy. And you're only at 40. Yeah. But then you're bringing in Cub, who can do Vex Magic. And I have three turns. So Vex Magic will do 70, 50. I can't heal, though. That is the problem. Right. And I'm down. Okay. Um, This is a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough one. Okay. I will, if I knock you out, then you come in and you can, you might be able to knock me out. But if not, then I get a tie and then I can switch to scar and then possibly use that. Okay, I'm going to take this chance. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and attack with Supremacy to knock out Hypno. Hoping this prize card is good. Oh, that was not good. <laughs> <laughs> hoping this card is good. That's better, but not great. And now Cub comes in. Right. All right. Hopefully you don't. Okay. Um, so you're at seven. So we could do that. And that was my first turn with the rolling tail, so I got two more turns still. Right. Okay, the fact that you haven't already knocked me out, I feel a little better about. What's that? Sweeping edge. Oh, okay. And uh, you can take that 70 right to the face. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Down to 10. <laughs> now I'm in deep trouble. Oh, well, obviously I have to take uh, false out, bring it in scar. But before we do that, go ahead and attach this to scar. And I can't really... Uh, Actually, I can still use a single-use card, can't I? Right. As long as it's not damage, right? Right. I should have actually done this before I switched to Scar because that's technically the order of things, but Curse of Vanishing is gone on your... Um, nice. Yeah. Okay, and that's it. I'm still alive. Okay, that might help. Um... What a match. What a match. 2-2. Two, two. So I guess 50 to Scar. Okay. So that's 220. Alrighty. So Scar is taking some damage. Now Scar will... Hmm. Yeah. I think I will use this TNT. So 60 plus 
70 is 130, and I prevent my 20 damage with my armor. <sighs> okay. I was very close to death there. If you just get it, do you have bows in your deck? Uh, I do. Oh no. <laughs> I also have a target block. Oh no. So we will. Oh, it's me! <laughs> <laughs> 290. Okay, this is this is the strategery moment. Mm-hmm. Do I or don't I? I'm finally getting um item cards. That I don't now that I don't need them. Hmm. Okay, I think we're going to try it. Oh, did not want to see that. Where are all my hermits? Okay. <laughs> we're going to use Death Loop and this Diamond Sword. Okay. To uh, do 110. Yeah. I'm getting, like... Effect cards? Just none of the ones I really want. Yeah. So. Okay. So I think we're going to use Shablamo. Oh, heal up some cub. Two twenty. Yeah, I need to get something good soon because this is not... <clears throat> um... And then uh, we'll spitz for 30. Okay. Come on, Scar. Come on, cards. My goodness. Okay. Death loop for 70. That's all I can do. Okay. 110 on a llama dad. Oh, that might Wait, be helpful. That's how much it is right now. But it's about to change. Oh no. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So ladder. Oh. So these interesting. Two... Oh wow. We'll Nicely done. And then oh and then nothing else. Um <laughs> So we're gonna do 60 yep. plus, uh, so we're going to do, well, uh, 80, 80. Is it, what is it? It's an extra 40. 80. So you would have done 120. No, it's 100. 100, yeah. Oh, no. This is it. I don't think I can recover. I, I can't recover from this one, I don't think. I've got nothing. Uh, I literally cannot do anything <laughs> other than death loop for 70. Okay. So it's so 150. 150. Yeah. Okay. This, if I can survive another couple turns, that might come in handy. Uh, so we're going to do Matilda again. And now this is a moment of truth. If you get a heads, it's come over. Come on, heads. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh man. Sweet. Oh, hold well on, we gotta hear the music. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Nice. Nice. That ladder really came in clutch for you. It did. <laughs> That's the yeah. first time I've ever actually been able to Oh, Diamond Armor was my next card. Nice. I uh I had nothing. <laughs> I had nothing. What was my next? Well, I don't I don't get a card. If I would have had a bow or the target block or anything come into my hand, yeah. it would have been over mm -hmm. long ago. Yep. Well, GG's. Very, I am uh, very good game. 
I am officially 0-1 <laughs> on the season. Got to go back to the drawing board and really figure out my deck here. I need some good cards. That's what I need. 